Well, Katrina Pearson joins us from Dallas now. She's a Tea Party activist in Texas. She's running for Congress in the 32nd district of a suburban area of Dallas. Ms. Pearson, welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you, John. Good to be here. So give me your sense. What, what plan do you support? Well, there are just so many rumors out there about what's in this proposed plan, whether it be from House Republicans or uh, Senate Republicans. But, you know, maybe we should do a six weeks extension and have this debate a little bit longer. In I mean, we're starting right? to see the cards unfold. Well, yeah, even in Thanksgiving. Right. Um, but six weeks, I think, is enough time to keep this debate public so the American people can see what's happening in this country. We should have been having this discussion a couple of years ago, however. So we have a, a six-week deadline and then the threat of the government shutting down again. Is that, is that the way you would see it? Well, I mean, this Congress has been kicking the can down the road since this president has been elected. So there's nothing really new here. We do need to address the issues facing the nation. We shouldn't just be giving Obama a blank check to do these things. So we just need to have the debate. And if we need six more weeks to do that, let's take it. No, I understand that. But if you can't agree, if the Congress can't agree in six weeks, then the government would shut down again. And you'd be for that. Is that right? Well, I think we're going to find ourselves in the same situation, but since we can't see the future, we shouldn't project. Well, what do you think, how well has the government shutdown gone so far, as far as you're concerned? Well, considering it's happened several times over the, you know, the last two decades, um, it's going the way that it has gone in the past, with the exception that this president is choosing to actually hurt Americans rather than come to the table and negotiate. Well, so what we're seeing is where the heart of this administration is. So you don't have any problem with the government being shut down for now? Well, the government is shut down because the People's Congress have shut it down. So it, it's not a matter of what I think. I think Congress should come together and do what's right for the American people. And what would Give that be? Give us a budget, be fiscally responsible. What would that be? Put down a budget, be fiscally responsible, right. Right. uphold but the Constitution, and have the discussion on Obamacare. Those are very, very broad statements you just made. Specifically, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Well, number one, we need a budget. We right. have to do massive spending cuts. And well, we're where? even talking about letting go of the sequester. Right, where? Where would the cuts be? Well, first you could start with fraud, abuse, and waste. Alan West found $30 million in his first term in okay. office, so we could start there. But nobody even wants to do that. Now we're talking about letting go of the sequester cuts, which Congress already agreed to in the last proposed budget discussion, and they even want to let that go. So that lets the American well, people know that this Congress is not serious about but, America's but problems. But you understand that as a politician who's trying to get elected, I'm sure you understand this very clearly, that when you start talking about cuts, um, especially cuts in Social Security and Medicare and other important issues. I mean, would you cut back in the park system, for instance? Would you cut back... Well, um, how about we start where, how about we start where areas where it's not the federal government's role, like studies for shrimp be? on treadmills, Chinese prostitutes in China. There are okay. several items that we are paying for in this country that we should not right. be paying for. Uh, there's a lot, yeah, the budget's pretty big though. I'm not sure that that would, that would make it. I mean, I, I, I'm serious though. I mean, the problem is that we've had is politicians aren't willing, some politicians aren't willing to make those tough decisions and tell us where exactly they're going to make those cuts. I'm just wondering, as, a, as someone who's running for Congress, whether you're willing to tell us that today. Well, yes, I haven't seen the budget. I'm not in Congress. I don't, I'm not in on those secret backdoor deals, but there are areas we can cut. We can implement Lean Six Sigma, go department by department, and use that methodology, which has worked in the government in the past. What, are you hearing? what we're seeing today is actual representation for a change. What are you hearing from your, for the constituents in that district, in the 32nd district? What do they say about the government shutdown? Uh, the constituents in 32, we are all aligned with Senator Ted Cruz. Remember, we voted for Ted Cruz. We were the ones out there fighting against the Republican establishment, electing Ted Cruz to do exactly what he's doing Keep today. the government shut we're down. We're talking about raising the debt ceiling here. No, we're talking about the debt ceiling here, and Obama obviously is going to raise that even further with the implementation of Obamacare. States are now dumping prisoners onto the exchanges, which is another account that wasn't being accounted for with Obamacare implementation. We have to look at this legislation closely before we're all stuck with it. Ms. Pearson, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Sure.